In this tutorial on GarageBand for the iPhone or iPod Touch, I'm going to be demonstrating the Smart Guitar and some of the features available within it. I'm also going to be showing you how to change the chords available within the different Smart Instruments. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's add a Smart Guitar. This interface pops up. What you have here are different chords that you can play, either by touching them on the top here, or by strumming them with your finger. You can also play arpeggios by tapping the strings individually. To edit what these chords are, you're going to tap this icon in the top right corner here. And under the song menu, down towards the bottom, there's an option that says edit chords. Whichever chords you have selected down at the bottom here, you can change the root note of it on the far left column here. You can change whether it is a major, minor, diminished, augmented, or suspended, or fifth in this column. In this column, you can change whether it adds a sixth, a seventh, major seventh, an add nine, a nine, eleventh, or a thirteenth. And in this column, you can make an inversion by changing the bass note. If you want to revert the chord to what it originally was, you can tap the revert button in the top left corner here. So let's go ahead and make these major sevenths. Let's actually change that back to its original. And let's tap done. So let's record a chord progression over our drum track. Sounds pretty good. If you want to have the GarageBand application play these different chords automatically for you, there's an option to do so. To access it, you're going to tap this button right here. And where it says auto play, it'll automatically play whichever chord is currently selected at the bottom here. If you want to access the different notes on the guitar, you do so by tapping this button that says Chords and Notes. And now the guitar interface turns into a fretboard that you can play. Also bend these notes. You can change to an electric guitar by tapping this icon in the top left corner and tapping on acoustic. You have four different types of guitars available to you. Some of them actually have different effects that so you can turn on and off. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop this. And that's going to conclude this tutorial. Stay tuned for future tutorials.